so welcome back to our eye ornament drawing tutorials as this little intro scene shows today we are talking about advanced pen characteristic uh, so you saw this uh, picture here is drawn by combining a kind of blurry background with a crisp black foreground and you can Control these kind of advanced pen characteristics by the last three sliders in the palette menu. So uh, the first slider here, or the third slider here, is controlling the pen widths. The second is controlling the opacity or the transparency. Uh, and the third one is controlling a kind of blurriness of your pen. So I personally find it always a little bit intriguing to take a kind of blurry uh, pen and combine it with a crisp pen uh, to get a kind of nice foreground and background effect. And uh, so here's one important feature. By default, the width of a pen is controlled uh, by the pen pressure. So the more you press, the more uh, prominent your line will get. And if you move down this slider to the very left, uh, then uh, you get, if you don't apply a big pressure, uh, you get a very thin line. And the more pressure you apply, you get uh, more and more exposed lines. You may ask, what should I do if I do not have an Apple Pencil? And for that, uh, I ornament comes with a very nice feature. If you press these icons here, an additional uh, menu pops up and this shows you that by default, the pen width is controlled by the pressure, but you can also turn that off. And if you do that, uh, then, uh, well, the lines here are of a constant width and do no longer depend on the pen pressure. And they look the same if you draw with a pen or if you draw with your finger here. But you may also be interested in making kind of dynamic drawings with dynamic width controls, even if you do not have an Apple Pencil here. And for that, you have this uh, setting manual here. And let me just show you what you can do with this. So if you activate this option, another slider pops up here. And this slider dynamically controls your pen width. So the further it's up, the uh, more prominent the pen is. And if you move it down, it gets thinner and thinner here. Uh, so it requires a little bit multitasking uh, training. But if you get used to that, it's an extremely powerful tool for controlling your drawing, even if you do not have an Apple Pencil. There are also other settings, for instance, tilt. So tilt uh, really takes the tilt of your pen and uh, creates uh, well, strokes, independence of your tilt and time and length. So what does time mean? Time means uh, that the longer the time passes during a stroke, the thinner it gets. And so you see if I draw from one rotation center to the other more or less random lines, uh, I get some kind of quite organic structures here. Important thing, you can also combine uh, these different settings. So for instance, you can say, okay, I want to control my widths by uh, the pen pressure, and I want to control my brightness of the stroke by the uh, pressure as well. So if you do that, uh, then I have to turn down the brightness to see some effect. Then you get a pencil that has, uh, well, a dark, thin stroke when you do not apply pressure. And the more you press, the broader and brighter your stroke gets. And you see, without ever lifting my pencil here, I can create rather sophisticated patterns with this setting here. Uh, so let's just play a little bit around with that. And uh, you see, uh, well, you can create 
very beautiful uh, monochromatic pictures with that. Um, I really encourage you uh, to play around with these features and to experiment uh, to see uh, what kind of possibilities you have with that. And so I would say I keep on doodling here a little bit and please keep on doodling as well. And we see each other in our next tutorial where we will talk about gold and glitter.